Hey guys, welcome back to Shade Review. In today's video, we are going over my personal collection of Randolph sunglasses. Now, in case you guys missed it, we have teamed up with Randolph to give away a personalized pair of Randolph sunglasses. So I'm going to leave a link in down below where you guys can check out that giveaway video so you guys can go ahead and enter that. So as you can see here, we have a ton of different sunglasses to show you in today's video. So unfortunately, I'm not going to have time to talk about each individual frame and their exact colorway because we got to keep things moving and I don't want to make this video you know 20 or 30 minutes long so first off let's go ahead and start off my favorite pair of Randolph sunglasses right now and that is the brand new Randolph Anderson with these beautiful gunmetal frames and they're all glass American gray lenses I really love the look of these frames on the face I really like how the Randolph Anderson have these slim down bayonet temples they feel really really good behind the ear and they are very comfortable and I can wear these frames for long periods of time without any discomfort which is really nice so the next pair we have to talk about of course is a pair of Randolph aviator sunglasses so these Randolph aviators have 55 millimeter lenses which are the standard size these sunglasses have white gold plated frames and these absolutely gorgeous cobalt lenses cobalt lenses are one of my favorites that Randolph produces I absolutely love the look of these as well just a classic style and what's cool about these they also have all metal nose rests which is definitely very interesting Thing. So next up we have to talk about the pair to the right of me here and this is just a standard pair of Randolph Concord frames. I don't believe they make them with the bayonet temples anymore. I think I've had this pair for probably six or seven years now and I think these look really good on face. Actually I'm now preferring the uh, skull temples on the Concord frames but these are definitely a cool pair with the you know more retro uh, bayonet temples on the Concord so that's definitely pretty cool. The next Next pair we're going to talk about here is a pair of uh, Randolph Archer Fusion frames which look really good. They have these matte black frames and they just look really cool on face. I definitely like the look of these sunglasses. Just a really cool and fun frame. Something a little bit different from Randolph with these acetate inserts. Just a cool style to them. Uh, the next style we have here is a pair of Randolph Jaeger frames. Unfortunately, Randolph has actually discontinued the Randolph Jaeger frames because they weren't a big seller. Personally, I absolutely love the Jaeger frames because they are kind of very similar to a Randolph Concord style, but they are extremely lightweight because they do have these plastic lenses. And these frames also have these slim down banded temples similar to the Randolph Anderson. So I do really like this pair of sunglasses, but unfortunately, for now at least, it is discontinued continued who knows they might bring it back for a quick uh, run or something like that but the next pair we have here is a pair of uh, a pair of uh, p3 shadow sunglasses these have matte black frames and i really do like the look of these round lenses paired with the double bridge these are definitely very unique and interesting and i think a lot of you guys are actually going to like these as well these aren't extremely popular but everybody who does own a pair really does seem to like them so the next pair we have here is a pair of Randolph uh, Hamilton sunglasses. So these sunglasses have these really cool frames. These have uh, their rose gold frames, I believe, and they have autumn sunset lenses. Again, those slim down temples, which look really nice. The style is extremely popular right now, and I definitely see why. They just look really good, and they're definitely very interesting. They're not, you know, very normal, if you will. They're just a really cool looking pair of frames. So uh, let's see, okay, the next pair we have here is a pair of Randolph, uh, just standard P3 frames with polarized lenses so these have 23 karat gold metal uh, plated frames you really can't beat that classic gold color these sunglasses in my opinion are far superior to ray-ban's traditional round metal frames they're going to last a lot longer the hinges are much beefier this is a really good looking pair of sunglasses that are very durable as well so just a classic in randolph sunglass lineup and i don't expect them to discontinue this frame anytime soon which i am really happy about 
Okay, so the next pair we have here is another white gold aviator style, but these have American gray lenses. So as you guys can see here, instead of the cobalt lenses, these do have American gray lenses. And for me, which one I like better is actually a toss up. I really do like the cobalt lenses, but I also love the look and the style of the American gray lenses. They're just a really cool looking pair of lenses and of course frames as well. Uh, and again, these have 55 millimeter lenses. Okay, and the next pair here, again, is another pair of random Randolph Aviator sunglasses. They have these matte chrome frames, which is Randolph's classic uh, style. Again, these have 55 millimeter lenses and these really cool looking lenses. I just really like the style of these. And again, you really can't be a uh, Randolph's matte chrome as well. These are more a military style pair of sunglasses where the gold ones, you know, are a little bit more fancy than the military usually uses. All right, so next up we have here is another pair of Randolph Anderson sunglasses, but these have these absolutely beautiful uh, brush bronze oxide frames. They just look really, really nice. And these also have autumn sunset lenses that are very lightweight lenses because they are polymer or plastic. These are also a great pair of sunglasses with a little bit more comfort because they do have those more lightweight lenses. I really do like the look of these frames and they are very fun as well. And they also have these really cool slim down matte black temple tips, which are really nice and very comfortable. Okay, so the next pair who we have here is another pair of Randolph Aviators. I personally love Randolph Aviator sunglasses in case you couldn't tell. These have Randolph's 23 karat gold plated lenses and these absolutely beautiful all glass cobalt lenses. Just a really great combination. These sunglasses also have these absolutely beautiful tortoise acetate temple tips, which look really good as well. This is just an absolutely classic pair of Randolph sunglasses. I definitely do like this one. One a lot as well. This was definitely my favorite probably a year or two ago and still definitely in my top probably five. Okay, so the next pair we have here is a pair of Randolph Concord sunglasses with white gold lenses and these absolutely beautiful blue hydro lenses. I really do like the look of these frames. The blue hydro lenses are category two lenses. So not going to be great for bright and sunny days, but these sunglasses are great for those overcast days if you still want something to protect your eyes from those harmful UV rays, because even on overcast days, there's still a lot of UV light out there. So these sunglasses are great for those days. Speaking of Randolph's blue hydro lenses, the next pair we are gonna talk about here is a pair of Randolph Aviators with their blue hydro lenses. So again, these have white gold plated frames, which look absolutely gorgeous. They also have very unique uh, temple tips, which is really cool as well. And again, these are absolutely great for those overcast days. And I wear these all the time when it is dark and raining out while driving. They're just a great pair of sunglasses that look really good as well. Okay, so next up we have here is a pair of Randolph Intruder sunglasses. These have 23 karat gold plated frames and all glass lenses. And these are an absolutely great alternative to the very popular Randolph Aviator sunglasses. They just look really good on face. And again, they are very good for people who uh, like the aviators, but are looking for something a little bit more unique and not quite as popular. Just a great pair of sunglasses. And what's really cool about these is they have these Skull Temple earrests, which look really, really nice. I absolutely love that acetate material on there. Just gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous. Just a really fun pair of sunglasses. Okay, so the next pair we have here is a pair of Randolph Sportsman sunglasses. And I believe this pair is about eight or 10 years old and Randolph doesn't make this exact colorway anymore but these have this really interesting and unique sweat bar here up at the top. And again, these have these matte black frames. Randolph still sells the style but not the exact colorway here. So it's just a really cool looking pair of sunglasses. Uh, next up we have here is the Randolph Hawks. And these Hawks are a great alternative to the very popular Concord style. I really do like the look of these sunglasses with their little bit smaller uh, lenses. They just have a really good look to them. These have 23 karat gold plated frames as well in all glass lenses. And I also really love the matte tortoise temple tips on these. They feel really good behind the ear and they look really, really good as well. This pair of sunglasses is actually very new to me and I just made a review over them. So make sure to go ahead and check out the channel if you guys want to see my review over the Randolph Hawks. 
All right, so next up we have here is a pair of Randolph Corsair frames. I really do like these. Unfortunately, I don't believe Randolph makes his exact colorway anymore, but they of course still do make the style. These are extremely lightweight because they do have plastic lenses. So when I first got these a couple years ago, I was wearing these all the time because they were so lightweight and I could wear these all day long without any discomfort, which was really nice. All right, so the next pair we have here is actually another pair of Jaeger frames. So this is actually my first pair of Randolph Jaeger frames and I actually like them so much that I actually went out and bought the ones with the autumn sunset lenses. But unfortunately, as of right now, Randolph has discontinued the uh, Randolph Jaeger style. All right, so my next pair here is my first pair of Randolph Aviator sunglasses. And this was back when I liked the bigger size lenses on my face. So these have 58 millimeter lenses. So as you guys can see, they look a little bit big on face. Now, funny enough, I actually like the smaller lens style on my face. But again, I bought these back when I liked the larger size and you know, Who's to say that one looks better than the other? Of course, it's just up to your personal preference. So I still absolutely love this pair of sunglasses because it was my first pair of Randolph sunglasses. But again, the lenses are just a little bit too big for my face or for my style as of uh, filming this video. Of course, that could change in a couple of years as well. Now, speaking of my style being smaller, I actually have my pair of vintage 25 year old Randolph Aviator sunglasses. And these have the smallest lenses. These have 52 millimeter lenses. And I absolutely love the look of these frames on my face. They're just a really cool pair of sunglasses and a really cool story as well. I actually sent these frames out to Randolph uh, to do a tune up service. And I actually had them put brand new lenses. These are non-polarized all glass lenses, just like they would be from the factory for military issue sunglasses. Just an absolutely gorgeous pair of sunglasses. Uh, they adjusted these frames and made them absolutely perfect. But I had Randolph keep the traditional bayonet temples, which have a lot of patina to them and the original nose rests as well. So these are the original ones that came from the factory 27 years ago. I just love the character of these frames. And also, like I said, I love the smaller lens size on my face right now. Just a really cool uh, looking pair of sunglasses with a great story behind them. And of course, I did make a video talking about these sunglasses in depth and the story behind how I got them as well. Okay, so next up we have here is a pair of Randolph Aviator 2 sunglasses. So these are very similar to the original Randolph Aviators. The only difference is they have a sweat bar here on the top ridge of the sunglasses. And the sweat bar here adds a little bit of extra character and they look a little bit more masculine in my opinion. Just a really cool looking pair of sunglasses. Now, I also do have another pair of Randolph sunglasses with a sweat bar. And these are the exact same style as the ones that we talked about right here with the matte black frames. This is a pair of Randolph Sportsman sunglasses with 23 karat gold plated lenses and the old RE logo. This pair is probably about 12 years older, maybe even older. I believe you still can get the same colorway on their website right now, which is really cool. I absolutely love this acetate uh, top sweat bar here. I think it looks really good. Just a very fun pair of sunglasses and these do have all polarized lenses. Uh, so that is very nice to see as well. And last but not least, we have here is a pair of 22 karat rose gold conquered frames. These are extremely lightweight because they do have plastic lenses. And this is just a really cool looking pair of Randolph sunglasses. I really do love the rose uh, gold plated frames. They look really good. Randolph does a very good job with that. And I also do really like the look of these rose gold lenses as well. Just a very fun looking pair of sunglasses. Well, that's it for my collection video. I hope you guys enjoyed enjoyed it. I believe I do have a couple of other pairs, you know, in a couple of my different cars that I couldn't show you guys in today's video because they are not with me right now. But those sunglasses aren't any different styles. They're the same styles that we have right here. They're just a pair of sunglasses that I keep in my cars. But yeah, that's the collection. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, make sure to give me a big thumbs up down below. And of course, make sure to subscribe button and then to be notified every single time I upload a brand new video just like this one to my YouTube channel. Again, thank you all so much for watching and I'll catch you all in the next one.